Hey, what's up everyone? Pasi Baller here. We are now in this first game of this April 21, 2022 NBA game day. This is Memphis Grizzlies visiting Minnesota Timberwolves. This is number 2 versus number 7 of the Western Conference Finals. Uh, the series is tied at one game apiece. The game will be at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time, so that's going to be 7.30 a.m. here in Manila. Again, I'm just inviting everyone who have not subscribed yet to our YouTube account or YouTube channel, Pasi Baller. Please, click on the subscribe button below. At the same time, hit on the bell logo. That way, automatically, you guys will be receiving notifications whenever new videos are uploaded. All right? Now, in this game, a Minnesota Timberwolves would have the home court advantage. This will be the first time of this series to be, you know, to be played in Minnesota. Uh, Memphis Grizzlies, though, would be carrying the momentum over as they actually had a very huge win on Game 2. Uh... Great adjustment that they made uh, that allowed them to tie the game, uh, tie the series rather, at one game apiece. Um, they just had uh, some, you know, some rest day, so we can just skip the fatigue portion part. Let's take a look at the uh, injury list for both teams. With Memphis Grizzlies, I see two players out. Uh, that's Santi Aldama and Killian Tilly. So again, two players out for the Grizzlies. Now for Minnesota, this is good news for all uh, Timberwolves fans out there. There is nobody listed in the injury list for the Wolves. Now let's take a look at the uh, spread. It actually opened with minus 2.5 spread for the visiting team, Memphis Grizzlies. Uh, but as we speak now, it is at minus 2. Okay, again... Uh, we are now in Game 3. Um, series is tied at one game apiece. We were correct with Game 1. We lost Game 2 in our prediction. Um, Minnesota won Game 1, 130-117. That was a 30-point win. And then in Game 2, Minnesota, uh, I'm sorry, Memphis Grizzlies uh, did the necessary adjustments with their lineups, uh, you know, with their three-point shooting and all that. And they actually defeated uh, Minnesota Timberwolves by 28. And now in this game, it will be the first time that will be played in Minnesota. I'm not sure if you actually guys uh, watched that game against uh, Los Angeles Clippers. It was crazy out there. It was deafening uh, for Minnesota Timberwolves. And I'm pretty sure that uh, they're, they're excited to actually play in front of their fans as well. Um, a lot of people are actually, um, are actually saying that what happened in Game 2 uh, is actually what they actually expected for the entire series, man. Um, and I mean, I understand them because Memphis Grizzlies, they have been great, man, the entire season, but we saw what, what happened in game one. We saw Minnesota Timberwolves' talent, um, and we saw how actually good, uh, their coach is, you know, they actually went through, uh, play in tournament and now they're here and they're actually, uh, making sounds against, you know, uh, a very good team at Memphis Grizzlies. Now, a lot of people, if you would actually take a look at it, they would they actually picked uh, Memphis Grizzlies for this game, and I can't blame them. I mean, who who wouldn't, right? Memphis Grizzlies a very you know a very powerful team. They got Ja Morant back. Uh, they're coming off that huge win, um, so I can't blame them. But I just I'm just looking at Minnesota Timberwolves right now, man. And I'm, if if you're someone um, who's playing the first time uh, in this series in front of your fans. You know, uh, the, the series is tied at one all. Um, man, uh, the, the the scores, uh, the score in game two. I don't really care. You know, if I'm if I'm a, if I'm if I'm a Timberwolf, man, I don't care. I would go out there and I would I would play it like you know like how it is, which is tied. It is all tied at one game apiece. So Minnesota Timberwolves, they got you know they got a chance. Um, yes, maybe not the chance to really like uh, win the series and all that, but. Just like I said, in, in that Chicago-Milwaukee uh, uh, matchup, right? A lot of people didn't believe in me when I said Chicago, you know, had a chance to cover the to cover the spread. But man, look at them—they even they even won the game. So uh, anyway, go go going back to this going back to this uh, series. I think Minnesota Timberwolves would do the necessary adjustments, man. If Memphis Grizzlies did the adjustments in Game Two. I'm pretty sure it's uh, it's not just Memphis who knows, you know, who know how to who, how to make some adjustments. Not sure um, how deep the adjustments would be like because I gotta admit, Minnesota Timberwolves' uh, bench is not that deep. But um, 
for Minnesota Timberwolves, there are two things you know that uh, that I would want to see on this game so that they would have a good chance. Number one, D'Angelo Russell. D'Angelo D'Angelo Russell would need to be a bit more, you know, a bit more aggressive, man. He's just averaging I don't know around ten points in this series or in this playoffs. That's just not gonna be enough, man. If you're going up against uh, Memphis Grizzlies, I know he is a very, very willing passer. He he wants and he loves to set his teammates, but that's not gonna be enough. I mean, this is Memphis Grizzlies, man. You got to score. You are D'Angelo Russell. You got a very good stroke. You you got a high uh, high IQ. Go ahead, use it, man. Go ahead, use it. And if you if you got double double team or triple team. Man, that's that's a perfect time or that's a perfect situation for you to set up and to you know to look for that to look for that open man. That's number one. The Angelo Russell. I'm expecting more from the Angelo Russell on this game. Number two would be rebounding. They they might not beat like beat beat Memphis Grizzlies in rebounding, but you have to be at least right there with them. You can't you know you can't get yourself beat by Memphis Grizzlies and expect that you would win. Memphis Grizzlies, man, they live and die with you know with those stuff, rebounding, uh, hustling, uh, defense, and all those shit. Uh, Memphis Grizzlies, man. But again, Minnesota Timberwolves, they have a chance in, in in making a lot of rebounds. So if they would do that, if they would, if they could actually uh, make D'Angelo Russell a little bit more aggressive than you know than the usual, and of course, uh, Carl Anthony Towns, man, you gotta. <laughs> he he has to uh, make sure that his um his his trouble in getting into um four fouls or five fouls early would be addressed. Man, I'm pretty sure uh, Minnesota Timber Minnesota Timberwolves would have a chance on this. So I would uh, on this game three. I'm expecting that they would actually make some adjustments, and I would be picking Minnesota Timberwolves on this with a plus two. I think this one will be close. I know game one and game two they were double digit wins, but I think this one would be a bit closer than than the usual. And again, I'm picking the home team Wolves plus two, Minnesota plus two. Peace out, passe love, and God bless.